Right now, I'm in Orchard Road testing out this OLIP pilot. This is a Kickstarter project that I supported. Hi guys, this is Joe from Techilobang. Welcome back to this channel. Right in front of me, I have this OLIP pilot and open ear or open ear Bluetooth headphones that I bought from Kickstarter. And I have actually bought the whole set, which includes the charging stand. And just to let you see, this is a headphone for conferencing needs. It has a boom mic over here that is for conferencing purpose. And it is touted to have a very good noise cancelling uh, quality, a 50 decibel uh, noise cancelling quality, which I, am, I have yet to test out. And another one is the, over here is the charging stand. A little bit upset about the charging stand even before I open it out is because the spelling is wrong. Design is spelled wrongly. So uh, Olip, if you are looking at this, please get the spelling right for this word design. And anyway, without further ado, let me open it up. Yeah, this is the whole box. I think it's very nicely done. A very slick kind of packaging. And because I bought the full set, which includes the casing and etc., so um, I'm just can't wait to use it. Let me open it up. So inside here, you can see this is the user manual. This is the actual device, and the casing is very unique. Um, I'm not sure whether I like it or not. It's unique. It has a triangular shape kind of design. And inside it, there's a magnetic clasp or magnetic opening over here. You can see from here. And over here, there's a quick guide. Okay, maybe there's a quick guide over here on how to use it. And the device itself. So you can see there's a USB charging port over here. So we have a noise cancelling, but unfortunately, it doesn't come with noise cancelling on your surrounding. It only cancel for those people on the other line listening to you, but it doesn't cancel your actual environment. So maybe that is a negative point, I believe. And this boom mic, you can actually tilt it. Not 360 degrees, at least you can tilt it in this way. Quite flexible. And yeah, that's how you wear it. Or at least this is how you should look. If you wear it like this over your ear, this is your ear. And the boom mark should be go below like this. I've yet to try it, so maybe I'll try it out and then let you know. Okay, other than this, this box is I need to say something about this box. It's quite well done, quite nicely done. And when you are keeping it, I don't think you need to keep this, or I don't know. I, I let me let me think about it how to keep this box because it's so unique design. I'm not sure how how well I can keep this. Oh okay, good. You can actually pack it like this, and it becomes very uh easy to keep instead of this triangular or yeah triangular shape. You can actually keep it in the flat format. So I don't think I will be putting any of this inside when I'm using it. So it's blocking the way. Okay, over here, there's a tab that I can pull up. It says accessories. So this is the accessories. Let me open it up. There's a cable. There's a cable and Oh, there is a windshield for the mic. Let me focus it. A windshield for the mic. If you're outside with a, a strong wind, then this is good. And what else? Okay, there's a dongle. So this dongle is actually, if you are using a PC, you can actually connect it to a Bluetooth or using this dongle, which they say that it is supposed to make it better connection in terms of the uh, connectivity. And um, it's quite bulky in my opinion for such a small Bluetooth earphones, it's quite bulky. And that 
is all for now. I don't think there's any other thing else in this. Yeah, it's empty. So that's it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I go, I forgot about this charging stand. Yeah. So let me open it. Uh, open it. This is the charging stand, a very simple charging stand with a USB-C cable. And this is the charging stand. That's it. Uh, very simple concept. Just lay, lay the earphone properly over here. Let me do it. And there's a connecting point which is here. Uh, let me focus it, which is here. So once it's done, you just need to put it like this and get it charged. Any USB A to USB C port will be good enough to charge it. Okay, this is the current noise, current noise uh, or ambient noise in Orchard Road. Hi guys, this is Joe from Taikilobang. Welcome back to this channel. Right now, I'm in Orchard Road testing out this OLIP pilot. This is a Kickstarter project that I supported and it has a very good A and C feature which I would like to try out in the real life condition. That's why I'm now in Orchard Road. Uh, it's raining right now so I can't really go up, go out to test out in the street. But right now I'm at Takashimaya which also has a very, very noisy environment due to the fact that there's a festive season right now and there's a lot of people shopping. So I'm walking around this area, as you can see from my video. Okay, I'm walking around this area and trying to test out this, this headset. The One of the biggest challenge for this headset is whether it can help to reduce or eliminate the environment sound. And as you can see from here, okay, maybe from here, there's a lot of uh, activities going on. I believe right now the noise cancellation will be very good because um, I have actually used it for quite some time already. I know from the other party in my meeting that this headset actually does a very wonderful job of uh, giving a very good noise cancelling on my environment. And one of the challenge, or at least I find that one of the least light features of this uh, headset is that it is an open ear kind of uh, headset. Open ear kind of headset. That means to say that you will not be able to, or at least I feel that when the environment is very loud, you will automatically volume up your voice or at least raise your voice to overcome the noise because it doesn't has a it doesn't have a noise cancelling on the on the headset itself. It has a noise cancelling on the environment, but it doesn't have a noise cancelling on the, the headset because it's a op almost like an open ear concept. And and that is one of the to me one of the negative feature on this uh, on this headset. And over here, you can see that I am now walking and there's a lot of generators. Okay, at least I can see from here. Behind me, there's a generator that is uh, making a lot of noise from what I can hear. However, I believe when the recording is done, you will not be able to hear any of this noise. And yeah, so, so overall, I do like the headset because it's very light and portable. However, on the on the flip side, right, the design of the headset, right, it has a very strange look at the back of my headset. I believe, um, I think it's for to use for different head sizes. Like right? myself, my head size is very small, and that's why I have a very big look at the back of the of my headset. Okay, let me let me show you. And this pose has a very strange way, very strange uh, looking headset for me because you can see from here. 
Yeah, and the microphone is quite okay, but once you flip it uh, out, like. you will not be able to hear what I'm talking about. And that is good. Uh, I have tried out on Zoom using the mic. It doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. I actually can mute the thing, but then on the, on the host side, you will not be able to see that I'm muted. And this does, does not happen on the Teams call. So... The difference between the Zoom and the Teams call, at least for now, is that I see that I can use the mute button and it will actually integrate with the software to, to mute myself, uh, to mute me. But for the Zoom, it is not able to. And I'm not sure whether there's any way to do a, a firmware upgrade for this headset. So far, I do not see it. And yeah, that's it for now. So I think it's a good investment if you are always traveling and you wanted a very nice and uh, light headset like right now. So this is a very light headset. And I'm quite surprised that it is quite comfortable to wear for a long period of time. And you can see that even I walk away, the sound will be okay because uh, the distance between the Bluetooth longer and this is around 10 meter line of sight and I so far it's serving me well and that's it for now so right now in the same environment I'll be using the microphone from the laptop to record this and I hopefully you can hear the difference between using the Olip or Olip pilot and the microphone on the laptop okay so let me go back to this uh generator generator that i just now i mentioned which i mentioned just now this is a generator at the back so i'm standing next to it it should be quite loud but as you know um for zoom application it also has some noise suppression system which is quite okay in certain environment but i don't think it will work well in this kind of very noisy environment so let me walk around the area some more just to share with you how how uh, good the only pilot is with the A and C. Yeah. So I'll be reviewing the two clips and then uh, you can hear the difference immediately. Behind me, there's a generator that is uh, making a lot of noise from what I can hear. However, I believe when the recording is done, you will not be able to hear any of this noise. This is a generator at the back. So I'm standing next to it. It should be quite loud. But as you know, um, for Zoom application, it also has some noise suppression system, which is quite okay in certain environment. Hello, testing. One, two, three, four. Hello, right now I'm calling without the OLED. So I'm trying to see whether it is. What is the difference between with the OLED pilot and without the OLED pilot? Right now, I'm using the OLED pilot to call. I'll be playing some background noise and see whether it can do a good job. So right now, there's some noise in the background and I really hope that the OLED pilot is able to, to uh, remove all this um, background noise and I'm able to hold a conversation with the other party. So, let's see the result. Here are my final thoughts on the OLED Pilot. Design-wise, it's light and handy. However, the loop on the head is not fitting. Hopefully, it can be adjustable or made into a smaller loop. The ANC feature is good as tested. Mute button is not integrated to Zoom call. And because it is an open-ear headphones, it will not be able to reduce the noise from the environment in your ears. 
For the accessories, I like the design of the carry case, but it is not very functional. I have to do some mod on the mold provided so that I can keep the dongle in the carry case. As for the dongle, I really wish it could be smaller. I think the charging stand is not useful. I have stopped using it. The reason is because you will have to plug the headset in the charging stand using the USB-C port. I would rather just plug the cable directly into the OLED pilot for charging. When you charge the headset, it will turn off automatically. So it means you can't use it when it is being charged. This is really not a good feature. Overall, I will use it for online calls, but I will not wear it out like a normal Bluetooth headset because the boom mic is really an eyesore and the weight balance on the headset is not good. That is it for now. If you have other questions, do leave a comment below. Bye!